City Kids. It is so good to see you again. I hope that this week you had an amazing time celebrating the fact that Jesus is alive. We have an awesome lesson planned just for you today. But first, we're going to get ready for a lesson by worshiping. So stand up, stretch your muscles, jump around a little bit, and get ready to dance for Jesus. Let's worship. breakfast this morning. I was so hungry. Have you had breakfast? Tell me on the count of three what you ate for breakfast. One, two, three. Whoa! I heard cereal and waffles and bacon and eggs. Oh, all of that sounds so good. Breakfast is my favorite meal. Well, talking about breakfast makes me think of a Bible story. Would you like to hear it? So, this is the story of what happened right after Easter. 
Easter started out sad because Jesus died and was put in a tomb. But did he stay there? No, he came back just like he said he would. Jesus is alive. Well, not long after that, some of Jesus' friends were fishing. While they were fishing, they saw someone standing on the beach. Can you guess who it was? You're right, it was Jesus. He was standing on the beach. They were so excited to see him alive. Can you show me your best excited face? That's so great. Well, the excitement didn't stop there. Jesus invited them to eat breakfast with him. So they did. Jesus' friends sat around the fire with him as he cooked some fish and bread. Jesus was alive and he was right there cooking fish. They couldn't believe it and they were so glad to be with their good friend Jesus again. They knew Jesus loved them and that he would always be their friend forever and ever. And Jesus loves you too. He loves you so much and wants to be your friend forever and ever. How awesome is that? Jesus is alive and wants to be your friend. Who is alive? Jesus is alive. Who is alive? Jesus is alive. Okay, boys and girls, you've got it. Now that he is your friend, you can talk to him anytime you want. He will always listen to you. You can also learn more about him by reading his word, the Bible. He loves when we want to know more about him. Well, it's time to close our eyes and talk to God. Dear God, thank you so much for sending Jesus. Thank you that he is alive and wants to be our friend. You are the best and we love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, friends, I'm going to go and finish my breakfast. See you next week. Bye. Wow, what an amazing story. Jesus is alive. Right now, we're going to practice our memory verse, and we have one of our very own city kids, Anderson Flick, here to lead us through it. Show us how it's done, Anderson. Hey, everyone. My name is Anderson, and I'm going to be doing the April's memory verse. Repeat after me. I'm alive forever and ever. Revelation 118. Great job. Now we'll do it with emotions. I'm alive forever and ever. Revelation 118. Great job. This is your chance to practice it at home. Bye. Wow. Great job, Anderson. And great job to all of you. You are getting the hang of our memory verse. As we learn about the fact that Jesus is alive, we have a very fun activity for you to do. Parents go straight to our social media and print off this awesome color sheet. You can color or paint it, or even add bingo dobblers to make scales. I hope your week is awesome. Let's remember that Jesus is alive and he wants to be your friend. See y'all later. Bye.